Welcome to Pubs and Pet Cocktail Parrot. The cocktail look cute, small and deep, but they are mighty parrots that love attention and enjoy unlinking their curiosities. These birds are smart, interactive and easy to train. To an extent, they might or may not be talk or whistle for you. Keep reading to learn in everything there is no about personality and care needs of cocktail. Cocktail are native to Australia where they are commonly referred to a weirdos or creations. They are discovered in 70s as the smallest subfamily species of cocktail. These small to medium sized parrots can be found living free in Australia outback but they live in captivity as pets all over the world. Cocktails are considered easy to breed so there is no shortage of them on pet market. These birds got their this name for the first Europeans to observe them in their natural surroundings. The cocktail is gracious yet gentle, independent yet affectionate. They do not keep mind keeping themselves but busy for hours on end by talking in a mirror and playing with toys. However, also enjoy being held and petted regularly by their human family members. Their preference to preach on a shoulder or finger rather than being cuddled, which can make them too pinky for regular handling by young children. While some cocktails take to talking and whistling like it's second nature, some take time to warm up to those skills. And still others just will not budge it when it comes to saying a word or whistling a note. You will not know whenever you knew pet cocktail will talk or whistle until you get home and start working with them. Cocktails may have pigmentations, mutations which give them a different color and marking variation. Pigment mutation can be passed down between generations, so many breeders know exactly which color and marking type of their bird are likely to play as they become adults. The cocktail enjoys spending time on bridges outside and indoors, but they need decided in close space to spend some of their time in while alone or when a lot of commentation is going on in the house. The case should be large enough to accommodate multiple pages, a few hanging toys, food and water, balls, a lot of wing flopping, a cage that feathers an oversized door is an ideal so the bird can make its own way back into its habitat when the time comes. These birds like a forage so they should be provided with newspaper and hair on the bottom of the gate for fogging reasons. Scrambled melt or a sprinkle of seeds can be powered over the ground covered the, to make for clinging fun. They should be allowed out for their cage regular to interact with other household members. They can be provided with multiple resting areas through the house where they can hang out without running furniture. A shoulder to sit on at least occasionally is a must as well. Thanks.